Dr. Zhang, for our organic fertilizers, we hear a lot of times, you know, talking about blood meal and bone meal and things like that. What makes an organic fertilizer? Well, there's a lot of uh, choices of organic sources. Uh, the USDA has a definition, okay, for organics. Basically, it's from a natural material without synthetic fertilizer, pesticides. Even GMO products is not uh, included in this product. Mm -hmm. There are some commercial available like uh, blood meal, mostly just the nitrogen, and then bone meal is the phosphorus, and then potash. It's a chemical mined from underground because it's not being processed. It's also considered natural or organic. Okay, so you could treat your garden with all organic fertilizers. One thing though to always kind of point out is a lot of times the ratios might be a little bit smaller. Um, we hear about fish emulsion and worm castings and we also have some compost here. Uh, what is the ratio on compost? Well, that's a good question. You know, if you're using this commercially available organic products for your garden, it's going to be very expensive. Fortunately, we have some other sources readily available, like uh, this compost, okay? It has some nutrients there, not very high. Typically, it's about 1% of nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, 1% of potassium. So we talked about using commercial fertilizer to fertilize your lawn and gardens, like use two pounds or 10 pounds per acre per 1,000 square feet. For this one, you need about 200 pounds per 1,000 square feet, which is about five tons per acre, mm -hmm. okay? Now, feedlot manure or other type of manure also considered organic, like a poultry litter actually has 3% nitrogen, 3% potassium and phosphorus. And then you just need a one third of the amount compared to the compost. Now, sometimes that can get you trouble because you might think it's not very much, it's a small amount, so you can overdo it easily too. That's exactly right, because people consider this as a waste. Plus, maybe there are some misinformation, like some recommendation tell homeowners to apply two inches thick of material on top of the soil. Well, if you calculate or weigh it, it's over 100 tons per acre. Mm -hmm. This is why we see our soil build up with high phosphorus and potassium. They're coming from manure or compost. So to apply at a reasonable amount, you know, five tons per acre, you spread out and you barely see stuff on the ground. Typically, you apply maybe one eighth to one quarter inch, mm -hmm. or no more than half an inch, mix into the soil. That should be good, good enough for one season. Okay. And, and a lot of times you, you mentioned that sometimes organic can be more expensive, but that's not necessarily because the package is more expensive. It might be that you actually need more to get the rate at which you need to apply to get your one pound of nitrogen. That's one reason. The package itself is also expensive. Like this one could cost you over $10 mm -hmm. a bag. So $10 you can buy a big bag of commercial fertilizer or you can buy compost from the store for $2, 2 dollars two fifty per 50 pounds. So that will give you a lot of uh, nutrients. But I would like to uh, encourage everybody to recycle their yard waste. Mm -hmm. like the grass clippings, the vines, the leaves in the fall, do not take to landfill. They're valuable resource. We can directly bury into the soil or make a compost, produce organic fertilizer yourself. And uh, you supply the nutrients, supply the organic matter, then that would cut down your usage of commercial fertilizer. So and, that's a win-win situation. And on your budget too. Well, exactly. And then you get to the exercise, you smell this uh, nice compost like this. Yes. So we have lots of information available how to make a compost yourself. Excellent. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Zhang. You're welcome. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.